I really needed to do this video before I brought stuff back to the library, so I had to kind of jimmy things and I'm now on my phone. I'm going to be doing a back to the library haul, aka a little bit of mini reviews. The first one going back to the library, I'm probably going to butcher this, but Miss Hydra, Miss Hydra, not sure exactly what how you say the title, but it's by Isman Omar Ada. This is a very big, very big graphic novel has extremely beautiful pictures on the insides and what I liked is that it's a uh, graphic novel style but very big graphic novel like the boxes are very big the writing is very big the artistry is big but I loved this this I had heard from Melissa C's I believe that's her channel name if not I'll also leave her information down below she's one of my favorite booktubers I watch her all the time she had read this book and said that it was absolutely wonderful and so I had to get it because it just sounded so good and it looked really good. So this is about a person named Isaac that is going to college and he has epilepsy. So, and there's a lot of different things that triggers it. It's kind of like his life through going to college and trying to be a normal college student and having epilepsy. So I absolutely loved this. The only thing bad I will say, well it's not even bad, the only thing I'm not a huge fan of, look that's one of my favorite pictures. The only thing I'm not a huge fan of is sometimes, like, these types of things, the colors mix together, and so, especially during his, like, during the moments that it is just blue, white, and black, so there's sometimes they mix together so I can't really tell what exactly is going on, but you get the gist. But I did really enjoy this. I read it in like a day and a half because I loved it so much. Wonderful book. I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars. So the next thing going back is technically not my book, but I'm going to kind of relay what she said to you. It is Thunderhead by Neil Schusterman. This is the second in the Ark of the Scythe series, which the first one is called Scythe. This one is called Thunderhead. Sorry, I'm trying to not blind you with the sun. She said that this was definitely 5 out of 5 stars. I did notice that it took her a little bit longer to read this one than she read the first one. It might be just because this is so much bigger than the first one, but I'm not entirely sure. I didn't actually ask her that, but it did, like I said, as I was watching her, she seemed to get like three quarters of the way through and then it just stopped. So obviously it could be slow. It could just be her. She could have not wanted to read it at the time, but it did take her a little bit longer to read this one than the first one. She said it was a five out of five stars, that it was really good, that she enjoyed it, that she's really looking forward to the next one, which is called The Toll. And I believe it's coming out next year. But yes, so definitely five out of five. If you would like to see a full-blown review of this, I cannot do, obviously, a video because Sarah doesn't do book reviews. But I can kind of interview her, I guess I could say, and do a review of it on my blog. So if you'd like to see a full review of what she thought of this book, just let me know and I'll definitely get to that and I'll put it on my blog and then if I do that, the link will be in the description. So the next book going back, I am so, I, this was probably one of my favorite reads so far. This, well, so far there's been two books that stood out, which I told you one in my wrap up was The Magic Misfits and then this one. This is called The Princess Saves Herself in this one by Amanda Lovelace. I have been really into poetry lately, and I think it's because I read Milk and Honey. I've never really been into poems. I will say it's kind of showing like a side I don't like to show, but I'm not the smartest person when it comes to poems. There's some times where I don't understand them. I come out of it. I was watching one of Richard Denny's videos the other day, and he has said he reads uh, Maya Angelou poems, and he said that he came out of it in some of the poems, and he was like, uh, what? And I was like, yep, yeah, that's, that's about me. Normally when I read anything poetry. But I had seen this one as well and it looked so good and I loved the title. And so I said, you know what? I'm going to try it. And I did and I fell in love. Amanda Lovelace is a wonderful writer. I connected to a lot of the poems in this book. I absolutely loved this. So like I said, it's called The Princess Saves Herself in this one. I, it's, I just got to say it because they have to put the stupid sticker. Like... If you know that that's where the title is, wouldn't you move it to the other side or like move it to the bottom or something? But anyway, on the back it says her story of princess turned damsel turned queen. So it was a really, really good book. It does have some trigger warnings in here. It does have some not so great subject titles in here, but it's really raw. 
it really shows you the exact motion. Like I said, there were some poems in here that I really connected with because I've either gone through it or I've dealt with it or I've seen people dealing with it. So I absolutely love this. It really connected to me. And the next one is called like The Witch Didn't Burn or something. And so I'm really excited for that one to come out so that I can read that as well. I definitely gave this a five out of five stars. Definitely. If you are looking for poetry and you don't really know what to pick up, obviously you can pick up the other ones that I've talked about. I've talked about Milk and Honey also in my wrap up. This one is perfect probably for any teenager that is going through stuff. So definitely pick this one up and I guarantee you, you'll start liking poetry. So the next two going back are a couple of my Magic Tree House books. I told you that I really wanted to read this series full out. I used to read these when I was a kid and I loved them. And yes, I do love a lot of kids books nowadays, but it just seems like they're not as good as they used to be. They don't have the morals, the learning, the goodness in them that they used to be. So obviously I want to finish reading The Magic Tree House. I want to read it all the way through. Obviously, yes, I want to buy them for my kids, but I personally want to read them. Even if they are super quick, I read them in like an hour. There's only 10 chapters. They're small. They have pictures, but I love them. So the two next two that I read were number 16, which is The Hour of the Olympics, and number 17, which is Tonight on the Titanic. Obviously, Tonight on the Titanic one. This one was a little bit slow. I felt like there wasn't really much going on. Still good. And then this one, Tonight on the Titanic, was one of my probably favorites of the entire series just because I love the Titanic. So to me, nothing really happened in this book just because I knew the Titanic, so I knew it was going to happen already, and I thought maybe there was going to be another twist. But some people don't know the Titanic, so I can understand where a lot went on if you didn't know the story. But I absolutely love this. I gave... I probably, I think I gave this one a three out of five stars, but I definitely gave this one a five out of five. Then the last thing going back is a CD and it is the Coco soundtrack. I watched Coco uh, last month or the month before and I fell in love with Coco and so I needed the soundtrack. I will say it has 11 songs from the movie and then 12 to 35 is just the score. So obviously I don't really get into that. I'm not a huge instrumental fan, but I will say that on the red, regular soundtrack it has remember me four times this is a wonderful movie not that great of a soundtrack but obviously i did keep it i did put the songs that i wanted on my playlist so that i did have the songs that is everything going back today and if you have any questions comments or anything leave them down below if you liked my reviews and you want to see a little bit more so i will see you in my next video bye guys